Morning all. Let's have a look at another brilliant move, this time by Tigran Petrosian. Tigran Petrosian was one of the world champions. Uh, he was the Armenian world chess champion between 1963 to 1969. According to Wiki, he was nicknamed Iron Tigran due to his playing style because of almost, his almost impenetrable defence which emphasised safety above all else. It is interesting actually, my world of chess by Sadie and Lessing emphasised he was into prevention, uh, which is another term for, I guess for you know prophylaxis moves. So stripping um, all the possibilities away from the opponent, resulting in statistically a lot more draws for example, and like he drew his way to win you know, the World Championship match against Botvinnik, a record number of draws, like five wins and two losses, only two losses. Uh, so it was hard to beat, even you know, Fischer didn't wipe him out on Fischer's uh, way to the 1972 uh, challenge match where Spassky Petrosian was uh, one of the toughest to play. In Bled 1961, which uh, this, this game fragments from, actually Petrosian against Ludek Pashman, um, he won this, but he also, you know, he came third in that event behind uh, Tao who won the event and Fisher who came second. Tigran came third equal here. So it's a curious style. We've done some videos in the past. There's um, there's the hijacking diagonals video. If you want to search for King's Crusher space Petrosian, you should find the hijacking video. Or have a look at the playlist, uh, which Jessica Fisher Queen Jessica Fisher Queen uh, playlists on my playlist page for famous players, which I'll put in the links in the description. But here, this is a beautiful move which Tigran plays, and it's the follow up which is also very very. Um, amazing as well, a quite killer move after the initial, um, you know, shocking move. So, okay, so if I give you 30 seconds here, I wonder if you can spot the first move of this brilliant combination. Tigran's already secured an advantage in the position, and with an advantage, you don't want the opponent to start developing pieces. At the moment, the queen side's all awkward. There's vulnerable dark squares, it seems, they're being put under pressure. But are there actual exploitable weaknesses in the black position or the, or the king side, or king safety aspects? So 30 seconds here, starting from now. Okay, the first brilliant move is Queen takes F6. So it's drawing the king out one square. Okay, so the king takes F6, doesn't want to be just a piece down on losing E7 as well. Only move. Now here, if I give you 10 seconds here, what's the follow-up move in this position? Okay, check with the bishop. So this stops the king going back to g7. The king has to come out and party with the white pieces now. So two choices for the king. In the game, apparently king g5 was chosen. Now, this is a really, really interesting, uh, powerful move. Uh, Fisher, I think, is quoted saying this is a real problem move. So actually, I'll give you the full 30 seconds here if you can spot this next move, starting from now. Okay. Bishop G7 deprives the H6 square as well as the F6. So the bishop has been parked where, where there was earlier in the game a black bishop. So Petrosian's uh, in his in his in a little um, negative chess style is now sort of positionally playing as though his pieces are occupying the d4 square when previously it was black putting pressure on his d4 square <laughs> so that's kind of uh, cheeky isn't it to have your own piece on g7 instead of the opponent's fianchettoed piece <laughs> so what is it doing there and why it's without the queen well the rook is also facilitating now in uh, a forced mate basically, this is an absolute forced mate in this position. Um, 
Now let's just take one option maybe uh, for black instead of um, there are not too many options because there are not too many pieces developed. In terms of pieces, it's only like these two. I mean, the queen can hardly do much. Okay, there's a couple of pawn moves as well. But uh, let's choose knight f5. So what would you play here to finish black off? Uh, there's a couple of moves. It's, it's a mating that's already been woven. Most of the work has already been done. So um, you choose your, your method now. If I give you 10 seconds here. Okay, either h4 or f4. So let's take h4 as an example. So knight takes h4. And here, you would take back. Now there's two options for the king, f5 or h5. So if king h5, then we've got a mate in one now. I hope you can spot it, five seconds. Bishop f3. And if the king goes to f5, then there's at least two, um, well, I think, is there more? I hope not. I think it's just there's two mates in one here which come to mind. Don't bother moving the rook to e5. Keep the rook there, guarding these two squares. There's bishop h3, that's mate. And also there's knight e3 if you want to use the knight instead. <laughs> that's also mate. So the damage has been well and truly done to Black's king safety here. Okay, and also if if we chase up the f4 line, so king g4, there's okay a mate in two now. Um, the most elegant continuation. Uh, if I give you five seconds here for the mate in two. Okay, knight e5 check. So that forces the king to h5, and then there would be. Bishop f3, mate. Mate in five is a bit slower. If knight e3 check, just just for the record, that this is also a mate. Even if giving up the knight, check. If if say king takes f5, then there's check, check. And here, either king h6 or king h5. There's rook h4, mate. So that bishop can even pop out in some variations a little bit. So it's it's a stunning uh, move. The original move, and it's interesting actually for, for me looking at the game. If we briefly uh, checked out the game, you know, from the opening, actually, White uh, wasn't playing um, with any special effects or any fancy opening. It was it was a plain vanilla opening, you know, not F3, just just D3, kind of um, what some people might consider a bit of a dull choice no open Sicilian or anything this early e5 was a bit of a shock putting immediate pressure on the dark squares and then there's this curious like kicking the Queen around um, which happened so Bishop f4 then there was a, a lovely move in the game here instead of an automatic recapture there was Knight c4 and um, and this led to you know black just having a, a clear disadvantage. There was there was like pressure, and uh, this beautiful queen sack. So queen takes f6. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.